Hey everybody, welcome back. New day, new section. The first, uh, you yeah, know, let's check on it. Look at him play with the little soccer ball, right? the biggest soccer ball. Oh, I love reptiles. Look at him I'm pushing around. I live for those parts of this game. Uh, but I'm gonna uh, basically I do my rounds, I check on everything around here, and then I just uh, I think someone escaped quote unquote the koala. Uh, yeah, so I moved the tree away. But um, yeah, checking on everybody before moving on to the next section there. I circled that again. I don't know. I just to reiterate, I don't know what to put there. Really? Um, and then here I started with the customer and staff section. Whereas I kind of ended with them on the other side, so I'm sorry for doubling up, but excuse me, that's just how it is. I won't say I did not have the easiest time getting this section put together. I mean, the staff stuff's fine. I'm talking about the customer like stuff with the shells and whatnot. You'll see. But yeah, this section is um, going to be African animals. I, I'm excited for it. There's lots of really cool animals in this section. Um, I, I, I don't start off too crazy though. I kind of start off like with um, some minor animals, uh, the lions and stuff, the elephants and giraffes. I, I go a little further in to the exhibit. Um, as you can see, the cash flow is not good, but you know, there's no problem there. Also, I'm not sure if this is going to benefit anything really, but I have my scientists on the job. Maybe I know, I know my education shit, but... Oh, yeah, these are new. I didn't realize that, like, you got a little memorial piece for your dead animals because, I don't know. I thought it was nice, so. The anteater, I put their name on the wall. Um, same thing with the cougars. So I took care of that real quick. Just because I thought, like, you know, it would be best to put them, like, you know, in the exhibit where they are from. I don't know. I guess if I get enough dead animals, which is not like you know my goal, uh, I'll like have like a special wall like in the middle of the zoo, zoo like in memoriam, and that's where I put them. But as of right now, like they can just stay in the exhibit. I found all that while I was trying to figure out how to make my, um, how to mess with the education. I just ended up getting, uh, sidetracked. Here I am trying to plan where I want the stores to go. I got a little bold over here with the double shell. Two of them, actually. Had I known how difficult- I mean, I did know. I'll be honest, I, it was, it was, I knew it was gonna be a pain in the ass. I'm not super good at it. See, that's why I got rid of the second double shell and one two more single ones, just because they're easier. Lots of donation places. I, I dropped a ton of ATMs by the bathroom. Uh, no! Uh, an otter died. I, I didn't um, put their plaque anywhere, though. I, I, don't, I don't have time, I guess. I didn't have time, I guess, to do that. And here we go. The nightmare begins. <laughs> Essentially, it's such a pain in the ass. Just watching it back is like reminding me. Ugh. Really, this is the only way to do it. It's like one at a time, just like that thing first and then the shell. But it works, right? 
Can't argue that. Super ends up working. And then I just did basic, you know, I think I did, you know, total like three drink places, three food places. I'm saving the double shell for last because I know it's going to be the hardest. I'm sure there's easier ways to do this too, I just don't. When I play games, I do things like stupid hard for no reason. No, I'm just trying to figure out what to put there though. Right. But those are two of the same store is the only problem I had there. No, I didn't want that. Oh, look at me. Oh, look at me. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, but then I took that store out. Perfect. And then I couldn't get another store inside. See, look. I just... It, it wouldn't go. So I was like, what the fuck do I do now? I was so desperate to like just fit a store in there. I don't know why it's so challenging. I had to like put one over. You saw that. Yeah, I had to put one down the other side so I could follow the grid down. But, it, you know, in the end it worked, right? And then to make up for the small eating area on the other side, I have a big, like, you know, big area for people to come and sit and eat their food and stuff. Sorry, I think I stepped away from the computer. I don't- I didn't realize how long that was. Shoot. <laughs> I was thinking I might just cut this, but... I can't have possibly- there we go. I can't have possibly even gone for that long. I think, um... If I remember correctly, I was going and grabbing my takeout because it had arrived. <laughs> Conveniently. But yeah, I expect tons of people to sit and eat here, and if they don't, I will be extremely upset. <laughs> but, yeah, we'll see. It is, I think it is the largest, um, the largest, uh, I guess, like, eating area so far in the zoo. I know we didn't do much with the animals today, but, you know, as you see, I'm starting to, like, plan it out now. Look at all those animals, hell yeah. I wanted to do, I knew I wanted to do, like, a, a co-inhabited co um, exhibit with a bunch of the uh, different, um, I guess, like, horse-like creatures, right? Um, you know, just the, the, the grazers, you know, like the gazelles and stuff. See, I wound up making some pretty big exhibits. Um, uh, my intention for Africa, though, is to have, like, really big exhibits because I know, um, a lot of those animals can uh, inhabit the same space, so I want there to be enough space for, like, um, uh, Maximum interspecies enrichment. <laughs> but unfortunately, I don't think uh, we'll have enough time to actually start putting the animals in. I actually don't think... It, it's a little bit until I start actually adding the animals. Just because uh, we ran into, a, or I ran into a bit of a, a hiccup, we'll call it. Which, you know... I am more than happy to explain in the next episode because that's where it takes place. <laughs> mm. That being said, I hope you all had a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye!